Hello friends, I am Dr. Rashmi Adha, an assistant professor in VGC, uh, Vianney group of institution and uh, today we have discussed uh, about the concept of laser on the behalf of group KPO. So uh, friends, today uh, our topic is laser and uh, what is a laser? Laser is the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And in terms what happen, it individual term have a individual meaning that are light, light. Firstly, if you want to discuss, if you want to talk about the laser, then we know about the light. Then what is the light? Light is the electromagnetic wave which is visualized by the human eye. Second thing is the amplification. Amplification is a device which making intended a signal stronger. And third is the stimulated stimulated emission it is the process in which light is emitted in a amplified way and third is the radiation radiation is the pro process in which electromagnetic wave tra travel through a media or vacuum thirdly now second thing what is the application of laser why we use these lasers instant of ordinary light so laser is uh, very useful in several areas that is the scientific research. Firstly, it is very useful in scientific research like in uh, the quantum well and uh, quantum well structures in all that. And second is the industry because due to uh, laser beam it can be focused in a very very fine uh, beam. So it is very useful in industry industry in cutting, drilling or welding. And third is the in medical. It is very useful in medical sciences, medical field, uh, bloodless surgery and like uh, uh, bloodless surgery and uh, uh, hair remover, uh, like hair, hair remover, it is like uh, work like a wax and uh, hair transplant, uh, transplantation also. And fourth and last is in a, uh, and uh, more applications in other fields and ap in fourth is the communication system. It can be transmit our message from one place to the another place by uh, without any attenuation or without low attenuation that is minimum diverging of light or deviated our signals. Now the fourth is properties of light. What are the properties of the light? That is the directionality is the main feature of the laser beam and second is the brightness it is very bright and highly bright uh, brightness uh, beam and third is the focusing it can be focused in a very very fine, uh, fine beam and having the low angle of divergence due to that low attenuation and low energy loss and th fourth is the monochromaticity monochromaticity is that emitted light or incident light both are in same in phase and momentum as well as in amplitude. So these are the properties of laser light. After the laser properties, uh, we focus on the components of the laser device and laser devices, uh, components of the laser devices are these are first pump, second is the laser medium and third is the resonator. These are the main key device, uh, key components of the laser. First the uh, pump, pump is the energy source and pump uh, it is an external energy source which is uh, helps, help us to obtain the uh, population inversion condition and pump further classified in the four waves that is optical pumping, electrical pumping, x-ray pumping and chemical pumping. All are used such type of substance and we give the name of pumping. And second is the laser medium, it is an, uh, it is, this medium is very important and laser medium is a medium in which the laser action take place. It may be solid, liquid or gas. And th third and last one is the resonator and resonator are the combination of the a plane or a spherical mirror, plane or a spherical mirror with a common principal axis. So the plane mirror both are uh, in both plane or spherical mirror one mirror having the perfectly reflector or per uh, reflection coefficient is near about to 1 and uh, second is the having the reflection coefficient 
is one or it uh, can be say the perfect uh, perfectly reflector and other is the partially reflector which having the reflection coefficient is less than one one mirror having the partially reflector or having the less than one reflection coefficient because if both are reflection coefficient having the one then we cannot obtain the laser beam that is why we uh, use the one mirror is partially reflector and so these are the components of laser devices thank you thank you for watching this video and please subscribe our channel